You ready to go diving? Time to go diving? They got matching necklaces, kid. I know. <laughs> well, you wanna go diving, Kevin? Simon? No, you can't go. <laughs> hmm? What's going on, guys? So, uh, I haven't been filming a lot for this channel. I like a good old fashioned uh, critter episode. And, well, I've just been really busy lately. I'm still here in Dowin. I'm still diving a lot. But I've been up to a few things. First of all, I started a new channel and a weight loss journey challenge. And that's what it's about. So, for the last 90 days, I've just been in the gym, boxing, lifting, all that. You can watch that on my other channel if you're not already. But that's why I haven't been filming a lot for this channel, Underwater. And I have been diving though, uh, but I'm also working on the book, a second edition of the Nitty Brank of Darwin. <coughs> this dog is just standing in the road. Anyway. Uh, so when I do go diving, I've been taking a lot of photos for the book. Not so many videos for episodes. So yeah, that's why I'm kind of behind. And today, I'm still going to be taking photos because I'm almost done with the book, but I'd really like to keep finding new species until the last minute. I know when me and Finn did the first book, we found new species on the last day where we thought we were finished with the book. So. I just gotta keep searching and uh, yeah. But it's gonna be a relaxing day. We found a new dive site that I haven't been to uh, before in the last two years. And uh, yeah, we're gonna film and photograph and show you guys what we see tonight. Should be, should be pretty fun. So as usual, it's uh, night diving time. I, uh, yeah, you get way more critters and nudies out at night so it's my favorite I could do one night dive and get more photos or video clips uh, in one night dive than I do like three day dives so you know it's a lot more fun and uh, about ready I'm gonna go uh, gear up and wait a little bit longer for it to get darker and then we'll go we'll go do some diving see what we can uh, find today you're so happy. We always find nudies, of course, but we're going to try to get a better photo than we have. And if we find a new one that we don't have, that's always awesome. It's rare. It's hard to find one that we don't have already, but it's really fun searching. <laughs> so yeah, I hope it's... I'm sure there's something. There, there'll be something cool. As always. Yeah. Especially at night, right? I'm going to gear up and I'll see you guys underwater. These marble shrimp are one of my favorite shrimp to find and you can only find them at night. They really hide during the day, but at night they're kind of mesmerized by the lights and they're really cooperative. There's a lot of different kinds of marble shrimp. This one's quite a bit bigger than the last one. And he was out just walking real slow on some soft coral that is growing on rocks. These guys, I don't know what they're doing, but I think the plankton that's attracted by my light is getting eaten by the shrimp. So he's benefiting from my video. This is a different kind of shrimp and it's always cool. It's a crinoid shrimp living in a feathered sea star or a crinoid sea star. They blend in perfectly and there's every different color and size. Just like there's every different color and pattern of feathered sea star. They just must adapt to their environment, whatever one they land on and live on. There's actually two on this thing. And you can see how good their camouflage is really really hard to find if you don't know what you're looking for and actually pretty difficult to film too because the feathered sea star is just opening and shutting grabbing plankton and 
particles out of the water so it's see that one's getting in front of the camera it's not the easiest things to film plus they're pretty tiny this grumpy looking puffer fish is sleeping and not really enjoying my lights it's also kind of windy Here's a cool looking little fish that I don't really know the name of. It's got some patterns. It looks like a Mexican flag or something. Yeah, I think it's some kind of scorpion fish, but pretty unique. This little cuttlefish was trying to hide. He doesn't enjoy the light as much as the little shrimp and he's trying to hide, but he's not really good at hiding. The plankton was definitely out in huge numbers today, all swarming my lights every time I turned it on. You can see it still floating around this seriously nudie brain. Now this is actually a Circe Elegans, you know, if you guys care about names. And it's one of the described species of Circe, which are clear and has the inflated bubble type serrata that you can see there. It looks like bubbles, completely transparent almost. But yeah, it is a type of nudibranch or sea slug, but super unique. You gotta watch where you're filming because these guys are always wandering around at night. I've never been bitten or anything, but they're still kind of weird. This turtle zoomed out of nowhere. He must have been getting some air. And then he come down and almost landed on me. I had to shine my light at him and make sure he didn't run into me. Cool little green turtle. Well, big. And here's another Circe species, and this one's undescribed. It's just called a Circe species, because it's not named yet. But as you can see, this one's more pink. It looks like a rose, and it has those bright blue spots. It's pretty awesome. These get huge. This one in particular is bigger than a softball, and it looks really unique slithering around the ocean floor. We got a lot of photos of these that'll be in the new book, just like the old book. And it's definitely one of the top ones that I was searching for when I arrived in Philippines. I had to use a really tiny light on this because there were so many plankton trying to swarm. Really hard to get a good photo. But I think we got one eventually and me and my dive buddy, uh, we got quite a few good photos tonight as well as these videos. Despite all the plankton trying to photobomb us. Here's some of my good photos of that Circe. It was not easy with all those plankton though.